Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the week of November 25th. You have this blessed card, which I love. Uh, could be blessings coming in for you. And this regeneration card. It is a great time for regeneration, uh, any of that. <laughs> Resting, relaxing, recovering, any of that good stuff. Um, because we have all these retrogrades at the end of the year here. So I would say take your time. You know, if your energy feels low, then, you know, get extra sleep, get extra rest. You know, all that other good stuff will just be extra beneficial for you, Gemini. And again, I would like definitely uh, listen to your body at this time. And, and, you know, don't burn yourself out. Ten of Wands right there. So that's definitely popping into my head. Again, these are not like things to worry about. I always like to, you know, tell people that, you know, we shouldn't be worrying about this. A, a reading isn't saying like, oh, you're going to burn yourself out and you're screwed. You know, a reading is basically w warning you against it so that you don't do it, right? And I think that's what this reading is saying. It's like saying, you know, be nice to yourself, be kind to yourself, rest, relax, recover. Uh, also, uh, don't force things to happen with the Net of Swords. Net of Swords is rushing. You know, he this horse that he is on looks stressed out. You know, he's forcing this horse to run as quickly as it possibly can. Uh, it's also interesting that you have the Knight of Swords to the Chariot. They both would represent something happening very quickly, uh, but there are they're coming from two different energies, right? So I do think the reading is saying that something can happen quickly, but instead of being in this energy of trying to force things to happen, that you need to be in the energy of the Chariot. The Chariot is just in alignment. He isn't forcing anything to happen, right? So again, like people love to tell me a contradiction myself. I'm like, no, I am very freaking clear with the things I say, number one. Uh, number two, the, the two things can be true at once. Life is not black and white. So even though the reading is saying don't rush in the chariot would definitely, it, it's not really rushing energy though. They, you know, it is just something happening quickly. So it is like a little bit different. What I think is important here is the energy at which you approach something. Again, this is forcing something to happen and make it, you know, trying to make it happen. The chariot, he is not trying to force anything. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, you have the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is like a big victory. And you also have the Six of Wands and the Chariot. All three cards would represent like a big win or a big victory uh, coming in for you. Um, you know, I kind of get the energy of overcoming something because the sword on the Ace of Swords is above the mountains here. So it kind of says that you could be overcoming some sort of challenge or difficulty or something that you've been going through. And, you know, obviously that would be a good thing. The Ace of Swords is all about balance as well. So doing things in balance is going to be very important for you with the Ace of Swords. Uh, you have the Six of Wands, which again is a win or victory coming in for you. Uh, he's being celebrated on this white horse, just like on the Knight of Swords with the white horse. So there could be some sort of, you know, people celebrating an accomplishment that you've had recently, Gemini, or you could just be, again, ha overcoming something and you could be celebrating yourself for, you know, overcoming some sort of difficulty or challenge. And again, obviously that would be a good thing. So let's look into this. And let's see, with the Knight of Swords, you have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands does say, like, what are you waiting for? So, you know, again, if you have your eye on something that you want to accomplish, don't try to, like, force it to happen, but I definitely feel it's time to uh, kind of, like, go on the adventure, right? I, although, I will say, I feel pretty good about the Three of Wands. You know, Three of Wands is a card of foresight and kind of seeing into the future, and it is almost like you are, I, you know, I almost feel that for you, Gemini, where it's like you're seeing something, like, coming into your life, and you're right. <laughs> you know, it's like maybe... For once, you can imagine like a success or a victory and it's actually happening. And that's kind of the feeling I get on that Three of Wands. Uh, with the Ace of Swords, you have the Emperor. So you have two cards of control here so far, uh, the Chariot and the Emperor. The, the Emperor isn't really a card of control. He is controlling, um, but he doesn't necessarily represent control. Uh, the Chariot is a card of hard control, which is about like really taking control of something and making it happen. But again, in just a second, we're going to talk about how to do that so that you're not in the Knight of Swords energy. Uh, the Emperor here, I feel, is saying that you need to be ready for an opportunity. He's sitting in this in his throne. And he has his cloak on, but he has his armor on underneath his cloak. So he is ready to go at a moment's notice whenever an opportunity presents itself. But right now, he's just kind of like sitting here relaxing. He's not like stressing himself out. And again, I think that's what this is saying. Like an opportunity is coming, but you know, don't stress yourself out about it. Uh, with the Six of Wands, you have the King of Wands. Again, for those of you that want love, definitely could be a fire sign uh, coming in for you, or it could be like a very fiery person. The King of Wands is usually a person who's like very bold, assertive, someone who like 
really make things happen. And so you could be attracting like a real go-getter type of energy into your life. I would also say you have the Knight of Swords to the Knight of Pentacles. And, you know, this energy here, uh, you know, could say that like, for example, if you are looking for love, that maybe you are used to people like trying to force things to work. And the Knight of Pentacles would be a more kind of like passive energy. And it would be more of a person who's like focused on growth and like planting a seed and seeing it grow in the connection. So, um, you know, this could also say that you're like leaving behind a person who tries to rush things or who just tries to force things to work and you're moving towards a person uh, who doesn't, which is good. Uh, next in the area of what's coming in for you, you have this turkey. It says metal, strategy, and service. You also have this owl. It says prop prophecy, attentiveness, and secrets. So again, I think the prophecy thing is saying you're imagining something that's like coming in in the future with that three of wands and it's actually happening. So, you know, that could be a good thing. Like you're actually predicting your own future almost is what this is saying. Uh, the turkey is a symbol of abundance. So there could definitely be a lot of abundance uh, coming in for you as well. Uh, you have the Chariot, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Sun. I think the Chariot is probably the most important card here. He is, again, just in alignment. The way he isn't making something happen. He has these stars up here, these moons right here, and it represents as above, so below. We have these two sphinxes here. They represent the mysteries of the universe, but they're not attached to the Chariot, but they are also steering the Chariot. So he isn't really the one that is steering his destiny, but, he, but also he is because he is in energetic alignment with exactly what he wants. So he is trusting that he's trusting the journey. He's trusting that the universe is kind of getting him to where he needs to go. So he's trusting you know, that the universe is conspiring for him, not against him. And you know, I think that's the difference here is that just get into alignment, don't force things to happen, right? And don't uh, create resistance against things that are happening. Uh, you know, he might think that they're, you know, he might think that the universe is bringing him in the right, wrong direction, but really it's bringing him in the right direction. And so Knight of Swords would be resisting those changes um, even if we feel like they're wrong, instead of just kind of going with the flow. And I feel like that's what the chariot is encouraging here. Uh, but again, we see a lot of victories here. So there's clearly like a big win. Uh, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, Knight of Pentacles is like slow, steady progress. And I kind of normally I don't really like the Knight of Pentacles, but I do feel pretty good about it in your reading. Uh, I, the reason I don't like the Knight of Pentacles is because he's the only knight that isn't moving. And he is usually overthinking something, even though he has all the knowledge and wisdom he needs to be very successful. But again, I feel pretty good about this card for you. I feel like you are making progress. I feel like you are uh, moving forward. We even have the Ten of Wands here, which might be a little bit too much work, but at the same time, the Ten of Wands, he, the guy on the card is about to reach his home. Uh, you have the Sun. The Sun is the best card in the deck, so again, that's what makes me feel a little bit more positive about the Knight of Pentacles and also just the, the reading in general. You know, the Sun makes the whole entire reading a little bit more positive. Uh, the Sun encourages us to pay attention to our attention, which I, I feel I've said this to you before, Gemini, that your attention could be being drawn to things, just like ideas, plans for your life, things to do. And I would definitely encourage you to move towards your attention. I, I just feel with that Knight of Swords and the Chariot that your attention might be being drawn to something. And you might be saying to yourself like, that's not part of the plan, you know, but it's like maybe it's part of the universe's plan for you to go do something different with your life and you never know what it could lead to. And that's kind of like what the sun says. Like we sometimes uh, the sun is a very good card, but sometimes we have to trust the sun that like it is the universe being like, go do this thing over here because it's going to improve your life. Right. <laughs> Even if it doesn't make sense in the moment. And, you know, I think the whole entire reading is saying that, you know, it's like maybe a good way to uh, put this reading is that it is encouraging you to move towards your inspirations, right? The, the Knight of Swords wouldn't be very inspired. He would set out on his journey and he would think, I need to do things this way because this is how it works in my head, right? And he's not open to anything else. The Chariot would be much more open to, you know, inspiration in the sun. Uh, with the Chariot, you have the Nine of Swords. I think you have to leave something behind. You know this already. Like if you're leaving something behind, the chariot card, he is leaving the city behind him behind and he's looking for greener pastures or something new to do. The nine of swords, it says that where you have been is just round around. You know, nine of swords is like a never ending nightmare. So I, I actually don't feel bad about that card either. I think you're leaving something that has just been going round around. With the Knight of Pentacles, you have the three of Pentacles. Amazing time for teamwork. You know, Pluto and Aquarius is going to be 
amazing for anything having to do with a collective or getting collective to help you accomplish things. So Three of Pentacles is all about teamwork. And I would say anything you could do to work together with other people will be great. Uh, with the sun, you have the sun. <laughs> so definitely the universe saying I meant what I said. You know, follow the sun is what I would say. Follow your joy, your happiness, your curiosity. Uh, next in the area of what's coming, uh, messages from your future self, you have this card that says your hard work is paying off. Ten of Wands also says your hard work is paying off. You also have this full moon in Gemini. It says the answers you need are coming. So a lot of you could be getting answers to the problems that you're having. Or again, if you've been feeling like a lack of guidance in life, you could finally be getting those answers as well. Uh, you have the Ten of Wands, Two of Swords, and the Justice card. Uh, Ten of Wands is carrying a heavy burden but he is about to reach his home in the background. So really, I think a better way to interpret the Ten of Wands is that like, yeah, he has cho chosen to do something hard, but he is about to get his result. You know, he planted those wands. They are his harvest. And like, yeah, it was a lot of work, but he's also about to get a big result because he did the work. So I feel a lot of you have been doing a lot of work or you've been trying to do a lot of work. And it's like, now you're getting the result. So again, I don't, I don't really see this as a bad thing. Uh, you have the Two of Swords. Two of Swords is usually like this or that thinking. And again, definitely with that chariot, I would like not assume that things are going to be this or that. She has this new island behind her. And that new island behind her represents like a third place, a, a different way to do things than, you know, she thinks she only has two options, but really she has another option over here. So again, I would just, I, I really don't think Gemini has a problem with this, but I would just stay flexible this week, stay open to unique or different ways of doing things. And I think that could be very helpful. Uh, this card, I also do feel like something about an agreement. This is a very specific message. It might only be for like one of you, but if you are in a negotiation or like a divorce settlement or something like that, I do feel pretty good about this again, because you have the sons to the lovers and you know, I'm not saying you're getting back together with this person, but again, if you're like dealing with like a divorce settlement or just a settlement in general or something like that, I think that this could say that you are going to find like a good middle ground. And, um, you know, again, I kind of get something about coming to an agreement with that card. So, and you also have the justice card as well. So again, the justice card would represent justice, but it could also represent uh, coming to some sort of agreement. So again, if you're dealing with like divorce or something legal, uh, again, that may only be for a couple of you, um, you, then I definitely feel there could be some sort of uh, positive agreement coming in. Like, is it perfect? Probably not, but I think it's definitely uh, more than acceptable. So, you know, I think this will be a good thing. Uh, the justice card for all of you, I feel saying, pay attention to what's working. <laughs> um, you know, I think we all need to do this right now, but you know, the justice card is cause and effect. It's like, if you put energy into something, do you get energy out of it? Is it working? And I would just pay attention to the things that are working in your life and do more of those things. Uh, with the Ten of Wands, you have the Six of Swords. Yeah, moving on to Commerce Shores. I, I really think your hard work is paying, paying off here um, big time. It's like, you know, it, it's it's kind of weird because it's also popping into my head that I, like, I feel like the hard work you've done is making something easier in the future, if that makes sense. It's almost like, it's, it's almost like some of you have chosen to do something hard that's going to pay off big time in the future. Like, I wish I had a good example, <laughs> but I really don't. It's like, imagine if these people were, like, instead of going back and forth at ch choppy waters, imagine if they chose to build a bridge across the choppy waters. And But it's like they had to do the work first to build the bridge, which was hard, right? That's almost what I'm seeing in my head with the Six of Swords. It's like they chose to build a bridge over the choppy waters so they could easily just walk over them and it wouldn't be a big deal, right? And I feel like you've done something like that. It's like you've done something or maybe you're currently working on something right now that is a lot of like upfront work, but I think it's going to pay off big time. Uh, with the two of swords, you have the four of swords, uh, resting, relaxing, recovering. And we said this here with this regeneration card that it's an amazing time to rest, relax, recover. Even today, I slept in an hour, right? Because I was tired. So I just slept in. And, you know, again, now is a good time to do that because we have all these retrogrades, which is, you know, we definitely want to listen to our body. Uh, with the Justice card, Six of Pentacles, same thing. Six of Pentacles is my card of, you know, kind of give it equal give and take, but it's also my card that says, you know, if you give to something, do you get something back for it? And that's exactly what we said on the Justice card. So I would be paying attention to what you're investing your energy in. And if you get energy back for the things that you invest your energy in, then it's a good thing to invest in. If you don't, then it's not. And I would just pay attention 
to equal give and take with the Six of Pentacles. Uh, I also do feel something about money here. So again, for those of you that have been looking to improve your finances, uh, I do feel pretty good about the Six of Pentacles. Again, it's funny because Six of Pentacles would also be like planting seeds, just like the Knight of Pentacles. He also needs to plant seeds in that field behind him. And you know, when you think about it, planting seeds is something that would pr produce a result in the future. And we were basically saying that with the Six of Swords, that there, there's something that you're doing or you are currently working on that is going to kind of like bear fruit in the future is what I feel it's saying. Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, you have this magical protection card and this initiation card. So I think you are protected. You have the magician in this reading as well. Uh, the sarcophagus card, that initiation card, you know, anytime I have like a coffin or anything like that or a tomb uh, in a reading, to me, it says that uh, you need to leave your old life behind. You know, usually coffins in the tarot uh, represent your past life and it, they kind of say that you're being called to a new life. And so some of you could definitely be transforming. Uh, you have the lovers, the queen of pentacles, and the magician. Uh, the lovers is you showing up in a very strong position. So whenever you show up as yourself, it puts you in a position of power and strength and allows you to get what you want from the reading. So you are definitely showing up in a strong position here. Uh, could be a little bit of love, although, again, I think this reading is more about what you're working on. And so, you know, the lovers is probably just you. Uh, you have the queen of pentacles. I definitely feel some sort of increase in your resources. Again, if you're doing things... Uh, to improve your work or your career or your business or how you make money like um, you know and you're doing something that's hard for the long term like you know again like just to give you a couple examples like getting a degree or uh, getting some sort of certification it's like maybe it's annoying maybe it's a lot of work but at the same time it's going to increase your resources in the future if you're thinking about doing any of those things I think now is an excellent time to do that so you know again a lot of you could be um, you know kind of working on a degree or certification or you could just be doing something, uh, you know, to build something up in your career, or your business that is a lot of work. But, you know, I definitely get this thing in this reading about things paying off in the future for sure. Uh, you have the magician. Uh, the magician would represent uh, kind of manifesting something on earth, which again, I think as above, so below with that chariot, just being in alignment, not forcing things to happen is the secret to success here in your reading. It's like just be in the energy of what you want to be. Don't like force it to happen and uh, create resistance. Again, when, when we force things to happen, um, you know, usually the that that just pushes it away because we're chasing something instead of allowing something, right? And I, I think that, that this reading is talking about you allowing something to happen instead of like forcing it to happen. And that's the energy I would get in. With the lovers, you have the seven of cups. Uh, I kind of feel like there are a lot of options for you in love. So, you know, for those of you that want love, uh, I feel pretty good about that. It, it's like, maybe this is something that's not really coming this week. Um, you know, again, I think this reading, I, I think you're more focused on, you know, either making a change or work anyway. But I do feel that seven of cups is saying in the future, you might have a lot of options. With the queen of pentacles, you have the page of swords. I think everybody should be curious right now uh, for the next like 20 years uh, with Pluto and Aquarius. Pluto and Aquarius, Aquarius really rewards innovation. And so if we're curious, if we're asking new questions about the things that we're working on, and we kind of, um, you know, look in new directions or learn new things, then, um, you know, definitely, I think that we can innovate and come up with better ideas. I also have the name Ryan popping into my head. So I, I don't know if anyone out there thinks that Ryan is spying on them. The answer is yes. Uh, with the magician, you have the page of wands. Uh, Page of Wands is about a new adventure, going on new adventures, being enthusiastic. Again, very much similar to the sun. The Page of Wands, he follows his enthusiasm, meaning that if he is um, you know, excited about something, he moves towards it and he makes it happen. So just follow your excitement. Uh, you have this wall card that says misunderstandings. Yes, Mercury retrograde. We're in the shadow right now. It'll go retrograde towards the end of the month. But um, I would make sure that you are just very clear. And uh, chances are there will be misunderstandings just in general. <laughs> so, you know, that's what I would say there. There's like nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do about it, right? Even like today I had like I have a service that I use for one of my businesses and they like canceled my account. And I was like, why? <laughs> and they were like, oh, this was a mistake, right? So it's like it just Mercury retrograde. Retrograde, and I blame the retrograde for that. So there you go. There will be mis misunderstandings, but just email people that people and be like, "Why was this canceled? I don't understand." And they're going to be like, "Oh, sorry, we're dumb. We made a mistake." Uh, you have this crib card. It says birth or conception of a child or an enterprise. Uh, definitely could be birthing something new with the sun. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles planting new seeds. So I think that if you're working on anything new, it's a, an amazing time to do it. 
Uh, you have this tree, it says affairs with your family. I just think it's a good time for socializing. All the end of the year readings that I have done, or that I did, the two sets of them, uh, you know, pretty much every single person had something about uh, like leaning on family, socializing with family. I just think we could be getting good energy from the people we care about. And so I would say if you need good energy, you know, spend time with family. But it doesn't even have to be family. You know, it could be people that you consider to be family or just friends. And I would encourage you to socialize. Uh, you have this grasshopper. It says situation in the balance that requires ha careful handling. Yes, don't force things to happen. Allow things to happen is what I would say. Like if you are in that energy of needing something to work, it's not going to work. It used to drive me crazy, right? My mom used to say to me all the time, like, because I would be putting all this work into my business back in the day, and I would be like, I don't understand. I'm doing everything right, and I'm putting all this hard work in, and nothing is working. And my mom used to say to me, you should piss me off beyond belief. She used to be like, yeah, it's because you're trying to force it to happen. <laughs> and uh, you know what the funny thing is? It's like once I just said whatever and let it go, everything worked out. So I think that this, the careful balance here is that. Uh, you have this dragon card says, beware of self-delusion. We are in a little bit of a delusional time. I don't think you're delusional. I just think that Neptune and Pisces, right? Uh, we have Neptune and Pisces until the end of the year, until the end of 2025. And it is a very delusional energy. So I would pay it with the Six of Pentacles. You know, I think that's your solution is the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles says, as long as you're seeing results, then you're not being delusional. You're only being delusional if you're doing something and you're not getting a result and you, and you think you are. So, you know, again, I would just pay attention to results and everything that you do and you'll be fine. But a uh, pretty interesting reading, Gemini, for sure. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.